Hello, my lovely Virgos. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. So my name is Michelle and I'm an intuitive astrologer. I combine my knowledge of astrology with my intuition and this will be also reflected in this video. So this video is for everyone with their sun, moon or rising sign in Virgo. And let's talk and check out the month of September 2023, which is your birthday month. So happy, happy, happy birthday for my amazing Virgos. It's really good to have you here. You know, your birthday is when the sun is transiting your natal sun and it really puts the spotlight on you. And in astrology, we always say this is where your year begins, right? It ends and begins on your birthday. And we call it the solar return chart. So, you know, you can always book a reading with me and I can check your uh, year chart for your birthday. Um, yeah, let's start and see what this month has in store for you. Um, we still have quite some retrogrades, okay? So on the 3rd of September, Jupiter will station retrograde and Venus is going to station direct. So Jupiter is in your ninth house. So you're going to reflect on what makes you happy when it comes to traveling. You're gonna really find your inner faith again your inner belief systems. And with Jupiter in the ninth house, it's a beautiful time to travel. So the upcoming one and a half year or the upcoming year, I mean, will be all about traveling. It will be about, especially if you have a Virgo ascendant, you're gonna just, you wanna live free. You wanna feel free. And many of you are starting to work for yourself or maybe in a more independent job. You want to feel this freedom and maybe you will even take like a gap year or a year or a few months to travel, to explore the world and to learn about cultures, maybe uh, doing some type of language learning, learning new languages. Okay. Um, Venus retrograde was in your 12th house. So you were really confronted with um, old pains regarding love, regarding finances. And the 12th house is very much related to everything in the subconscious. So it's like sometimes you feel this pain in your heart and you don't know why. This is your subconscious uh, repression of something, okay? So when you go into meditation, you can unlock it. And on the 3rd of September, you're gonna really reflect on whatever it is you've learned during this time and also 12th houses past lives so there could have been romances coming back from the past or past lives um, maybe you heard from someone that you dated before if you are in a relationship definitely um, some uncomfortable feelings came up so Everything uncomfortable you had to deal with when it comes to the heart, when it comes to matters of finances and really um, restructure the way you love yourself and the way you deal with these situations, which you can do through maybe hypnosis, meditation, yoga, uh, journaling and self-reflection and having a lot of patience with yourself that you have to start trusting your intuition because sometimes you don't have proof that something is off, but your intuition knows. And nine out of 10 times when we keep thinking the same feelings, that's the universe trying to tell you something about someone. So do listen to this intuition, okay? Because very often this is very much correct. We underestimate uh, the power of the body and what it really reflects back to you, right? When there is an illness, when there is something happening, it's um, it was something you repressed for a long time and it's stored in your body. So ask your body questions in the meditation. Why do I feel this way? Why, um, why is this happening? And then let it go. It will come to you. The answers will come to you, okay? Uh, also, 
yeah, if you have, especially a Virgo ascendant, right? And for example, for me, I am a Virgo sun and the Saturn has been opposing my sun. So for some of you, it's opposing your moon ascendant or sun. And this is really bringing lessons about boundaries that brings karma in with your parents. Moon is your mother, sun is your father. Ascendant, it will be about your partnership. So it's like this make or break energy. If you are in a relationship, you're gonna have to work hard for it. It's not gonna be easy, uh, but you are ready to go to the next level. And if you're not, it's probably going to break. If you're single, you're not gonna take you're, it's not going to be enough for you to be in a casual relationship right now. You're going to be like, it's all or nothing. I don't want to be um, wasting my time because Virgo, let's be honest, we don't like wasting our time on anything, on jobs we don't like or anything that takes energy away from us. We don't like it. <laughs> it's like um, Virgo has such a good... You have such a gift of seeing situations like you're quiet. You're quietly looking in a group, but you know exactly what's happening. Like, let me know in the comments because I know you am a Virgo. I know that Virgo is so observant, knows exactly what's going on. And that's why you're such a giving sign because you know who needs what. So on the 14th of September, there will be a new moon in Virgo at 21 degrees. So check out if you have any planets um, in your own sign. Maybe it's your sun sign, maybe it's your birthday. Um, this will emphasize this new moon, which I think is quite a nice new moon, okay? This is not very dramatic, nothing crazy. The only thing is that uh, up till this new moon, there will be Mercury retrograde in your sign, so you might feel a bit affected by it, okay? The way you speak, uh, there might be some miscommunication happening with people around you, um, especially if you're natal Mercury, if you have your natal Mercury in Virgo, you can tell I have that because I'm already blurring and slurring my words. <laughs> so yeah, there might be some miscommunications happening and as usual, I don't recommend to sign contracts during this time if you have to do it, okay? You read the contract very well, bit by bit, line by line, you're reading uh, everything really carefully. If you buy electronics, make sure to get a guarantee so you can bring it back, okay? Let me get the cards. So we also have this full moon in Aries. And Aries for you, Virgo, is in your eighth house. And Chiron has been in your eighth house for a while. This means there are some uncomfortable situations when it comes to money and especially joint bank accounts, okay? And this full moon might emphasize um, situations with joint bank accounts. It might also... Um, force you to be vulnerable about a certain situation. This could be with a partner, but this could also be uh, with yourself or others. It's time to self-reflect. What, what is your value when it comes to relationships? And with Libra, the sun in Libra, you're gonna really def redefine how would, much would I like to earn? How would I restructure my income? And Mars is with the South Node in the second house. So make sure to not fight with anyone about finances. Uh, it could even be the government. There's going to be some difficulty with that. Yeah. I'm actually, the, the situation going on in my own life, I have to say. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah. I hired some accountant. I hired an accountant to make a really big mess of everything and it's it's been going on for months and it's really, really annoying. So I really hope that you don't have to go through the same situation. Um, yeah. For some of you, it's even a race. You're gonna stand up for yourself and you're gonna be like, hey, I wanna earn more. <laughs> Trust your vibes. Whoa, we just talk about it, no? That your gut feeling and listen to your heart. 
You are on point, Virgo. You are on point in the situation. Don't doubt yourself. <laughs> oh, well, cards are flying. Give me a sec. Okay, open your heart. Look at this. This is a heart. Open your heart. Okay, some of you have a blocked heart. You're not open for love, so open yourself for love, okay? <sighs> Allow people to love you. Maybe some of you have trouble for other people or allowing other people to love you. Why not? Thank you, Chamel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Heart. Okay, so maybe this is a love situation. Maybe there are two options, like someone who will give you the world and someone that's really closed off to you. Listen to your heart. What is your heart telling you to do? Because you know, you know it already. It's like spiritual gifts. Look at that. You are so sensitive. You're so good at tuning in, feeling the group, feeling the vibes. So why are you doubting yourself, Virgo? Ha. Some of you are doubting yourself. No need. You know what to do. You know what to do. Like some of you have to break off something. Just saying. Timing. You're just waiting for the right timing. Okay? Everything in your own time. Okay? Timing, again, two timing cards. This is the astrology, according to astrology, okay? Yeah, because it's like you've been running around in circles. This cycle has been happening over and over and over again. And it's like, you're just done. You're like, I'm not doing this again. This is it. Goodbye. <laughs> And this is because it's your it's your birthday month, so you're in your flow and you're just in your power, especially soon when Virgo is going uh, when Venus is going to your sign next month. Yeah, you're gonna be so magnetic. Yeah, look at that. The sun is coming out. The sun is coming out. You're gonna stand up for yourself. It's time. Like I feel the frustration. I'm like, I'm so done with this. I'm not gonna allow people to uh, step on my, or like push my boundaries. I'm done. Yes, feminine power, even if you're a man, it's still the same. It's like, I'm just gonna slowly walk away. And if they keep pushing, they can have it, okay? They can have it. You've definitely been in a cycle, a cycle of the same over and over and over again. And you're going to break this. You're going to break this cycle once and for all. And you're going to do it. I'm so proud of you. This is going to be your breakthrough mount in which you are ready to face your pain. You're ready to start your year with a fresh approach and go for what you want. If this is work, if this is clients, romance, doesn't matter. You're ready to go to the next level, to take this next step. So good for you. Uh, this is my message for you, my amazing Virgos. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below how this resonates with you. What are you done with? I want to know. Let me know. And um, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.